to find a way out of here. Ishik, a cat wa a wooi. Humpel chik bal? Humpel. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. This will be useful.
Le uch ben sikbalo. Kuyeli ke levi, le wani joi, le uktulobo. Kukalantik le takino. Vale so kin kashantik tulakal tushe. Ma becha hakin kashantik yobi. Ah, minano bilal. Basti al kukash kubai mak. Ubet kum pel bas na adbil. Wamish palu belal. As it was foretold, heralded by the column of flame burning through the night, and the destruction of our temples, and the warnings of the weeping woman and the two-headed man, the strange warriors astride great deer arrived with the rising sun. They murdered the weak leaders and claimed the land and the people as their own. Un rato yetel, huacuxul macobe, le tio pujagil, uchilan cabilo paititi, huabella catictén, y el machente en tu cultiqui, vale, bellin wole, chente en llante numuki lingualic, usasig sipile, socucuchu luquin le olal, una juchiba lunuratu, ucupki mesicu culcan, te alusut lequino. Maculpachi. Yo que sale tu culo bello, que me salió ya, Billy. Le hola al bacán Mishmak Tzikbáltico. Pelkin Hatch Jan Meyaj, Haj, Kukulkan Tuyalaj, Janu Bintón Utsil, Vale, Yabe Laili, Uchamaju Kupsibalobe. The protectors failed and are now doomed to recover what they lost.
Its Amna is the son of the Maya creator god Hunabku. He was the god of education, responsible for inventing writing and books. This made him an essential figure in the development of Maya culture. He was also god of agriculture and created farming. He even presided over doctors, healing people with the help of his red hot hand. Usually, Its Amna took on a reptilian aspect, but he was also known as Kinichahau a fire McCall, who is the patron of the number four and controlled drought and disease. The Paititians made peace with each other and followed Yaska Yahweh, recently acclaimed as emperor, to a site in the mountains to begin anew, certain they will not make the same mistakes as those before them. An Aztec-influenced mask, decorated with items native to the area around Paititi, Are you Pisco the Dead? Go back to the weekend. Taktung and Chakmash, Pactal Ilik Pisco. Kimenesh Shan Ishik? No. So you are Pisco the Dead? Pisco. Because Legum Tsilovo. I'm Lara. Lara? Humpel Hatsutskaba. Lara, hm? Ma Kimenechi. Neither are you. Why? Be, ya ni linki me salti impalile. Le beti que visa ben wits yete le no bexajo. Tsoke sabih. Vale. But you survived. Chenin winkilal. Kimene no tiel in lakti love yete lineta ilo. Kinkustal yete le takunesaku patalte no. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. 
hasta aquí. Leti katkak bash, un pel bash al katun tin nahaltaj. Maya valyanteni. Vale, yete lutzole al tin nahaltik le bakil bulo. What's the game? Sik balnen yete el hotul, tohol chintan mako. Uy, awui, uyit satil yete el alten bash ten chek taki. Beitunu, kin sik tech le bakil bulobo. I can do that. Patoli is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their family's freedom. The god of art and games, Makwal Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. Vale, <tose> Where is my mother? She's settling matters between the guards and her Khan. What's it like outside by Didi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Paititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. Hmm. What you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? by the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. The surging population and lack of civil planning caused the settlement many problems. Farmers clear-cut jungle to use the fertile riverbanks for their crops, resulting in a devastating flood in the first heavy rains. Overhunting forced hunters to travel ever further to find game. Several groups, each vying for a controlling interest in the settlement, debated often fiercely on the best manner of solving these problems. All full up. Can't carry any more. Hmm. This is a formidable weapon, heavy wood lined with sharp obsidian teeth. It could easily stop an unarmored enemy. 
And if the blood stains are any indication, it has. Right. 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 I don't have enough space for that. Through there. Having not heard from Lopez, some among the leadership began to have their doubts about him. Our group dispatched south to investigate. We sent the natives in first, uncertain those in the city had not killed Lopez on his arrival. They returned with reports of how sick the city was, and we quickly formed a plan to utilize this to our advantage. This seems to represent Unaratu leading a group in rebellion. There is a near total eclipse in the background. Oh. Oh. The smell. This must be the place Etsli mentioned. Steady, Lara, steady. Yeah. <laughs> 
You can do this. I have no choice. Is this one of the rebels? There's a way in somewhere. A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. Yes, through there. The smell keeps getting stronger. Laura, how's it going? I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? I'm talking tattoos with Uchu. <sighs> tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's, right? It has a heron and an eclipse on it. That might have something to do with the silver box. I don't think so. <sighs> Looks like this is the only way, okay? to burn that barrier. The lone figure appears in a state of peace, as though waiting for something. 